Hi, I'm Tim Chambers. We're at the Spring Fox Valley Antique Show in St. Charles, Illinois. We're taking a look at a master bingo board, which are not particularly uncommon, but not really very common. This particular board uh, probably dates to about 1900. Would have been used in more than likely a church, but it could have come out of any sort of a gaming facility. And this would be the actual board that whoever the caller was for the game would use this with along with a device that would spit out the numbers and the letters, then would use this board right here, which is equipped with tiny little cup hooks all across above every number, would use this board then to mark off when a number was called. Let's say for example, G50, then this number would be blocked off and anybody in the room could go to their card and mark their G50. So many of these things like this, after they were no longer being used, were thought to have had no value. Obviously, this has got such a graphic nature that it still has intrinsic value just based on the art that it's become. It's all hand painted, still provides all kinds of pleasure just in the presence of it, just its, it's scale. It's something that, I don't know what it is, it's human nature, we respond to numbers. And this is a very repetitive, almost, uh, compulsive sort of object. So it has appeal that even though it is a, an antique, it really transcends that by becoming a piece of art, which is what's really great. That's what gives it legs, so to speak. It has life and will undoubtedly be appreciated for years to come just for the art that it is. Thanks for stopping by today. We hope to see you at the October show.